It's Thirsty Thursday. Hello my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is on high seas e-liquids. Okay guys, so today I have six flavors by High Seas E-Liquid. I will put a link below if you're interested in checking out these flavors after this video. I'm probably going to try four or five here today because I don't really like E-Liquid videos to run too long. But anyways, these are the flavors I got and they are $8.99 for a 15 milliliter glass bottle. They are $15.99 for a 30 milliliter bottle and $49.99 for a 100 milliliter bottle. These are a Max VG E-Liquid. Like they say, they claim that there's no PG in them at all, but I always thought that that wasn't, was impossible. I always thought that there had to be like some itty bit of PG. So correct me if I'm wrong because I know you guys will. They're available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. As well as including that cute little box for their e-liquids, they included a flavor menu, which you guys know I absolutely love when companies do that. So the six flavors I have are Port Royal, which is a custard flavor. Deep Six, which is sweet peach rings. Blue Nose, which is tropical coconut drink mixed with blueberries and hints of sliced strawberries. Ooh, that sounds really good. Fairway, which is, it says our favorite fruit flavored sugar cereal rings soaked in milk. So it's probably Fruit Loops. <laughs> Full Mast, which is ripe, sweet, juicy strawberries sliced over the sweetest creams on the ship, then sprinkled with raw sugar cane. Ooh, yum. And Cast Off, with over five flavor combinations, including banana and cake batter. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, so these all sound really good. I want to try them all. Um, well, let's just get started because all these flavors sound delicious. So the first one I'm going to try is Blue Nose. Here is the bottle art. It is similar for all of the flavors, just the name on it changes. And this is the Tropical Coconut Drink Mixed with Blueberries. It sounds so good. Oh, oh my god, it smells so good. It's like pineapple, coconut, and blueberries. Almost smells a lot like that flavor from Big Lou's uh, e-liquid, which I absolutely love. Ooh, very smooth on the inhale. Mmm, yeah, this almost tastes just like the blue cocoa from the Big Lou's. Like, I love that flavor, only this one has the extra additive of pineapple, and it is so freaking good, and I definitely am gonna vape that completely gone. Like, one vape and I'm in love. Oh, oh, that is so good. Straight up sweet ass pineapple, creamy, yummy, sweet coconut, topped off with a mixture of fresh, real blueberries. Definitely A1, like I'm so excited because I loved the blue cocoa so much. I, I vaped it and then bought another bottle and vaped it, and this is like almost the same, only with the additive of pineapple, which is perfect. Next, I'm going to try Deep Six. It's vaping in here already. <laughs> and Deep Six is the peach ring candies, which I love. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. This is gonna be awesome, I hope. I love this type of flavor. I'd say that this is one of my top, probably one of my top flavor profiles as well. Um, it's like not at the super top, it's probably like towards the bottom of like flavor flavors that I vape. But I always get really excited when I find a new really tasty peach ring flavor that I can vape that isn't like too harsh. Oh, oh yeah. This is straight up, it tastes like gummy peach. Like, oh, oh yes, it's really good. It's not super sugary. I had expected it to be a little bit like super sugary, but it's not, it's actually kind of mellow with the sugar, but it's sweet enough like that candy that it's actually really enjoyable. Oh my God, I'm so happy. It's been a long, I've had these e-liquids for a long time because like I said, my review queue is always booked out very, very far all the time because I have just so much vape vape stuff and all the companies want to be on my channel because I have a large audience and I wish I would have tried these sooner. Mm. Oh my god, I'm gonna vape this one too. Oh, this is so good. Oh man. Mm. I might, no I can't say I like this one better 
because that one was blueberries and coconut and pineapple and that's so good but this is so good for like the peach rings oh let's keep going oh yes okay so this is fairway and this is high seas version of fruit loops and i am always down to try i'm really picky when it comes to fruit loop vapes though Woo! smells a little strong on the lemon but i never judge by the smell but i'm very very picky when it comes to this flavor because if it's got that waxy taste or that lemony taste then i don't want it so let's go with fairway this does have a lot of lemon it's not overpowering i'm getting a little bit of milkiness to it creamy not a lot of sugar like i expected it to be more sugary towards uh because of the description it's let me try it again it's not bad but like I said, I am super picky when it comes to Fruit Loop fruity cereal vapes because I've had so many and it's one of my favorite flavors that I wouldn't say that this is the best one that I've ever tried. It's not overpowering at all in the sense of lemon and it's not, I'm not really getting that waxy aftertaste. Maybe just a smidge. But I feel like the added milky creaminess to it is what's really toning down the lemon. If there wasn't the milky creaminess to it, it would probably be too overbearing for most with the lemon, but it's not bad. Shall we continue though? Next I have Full Mast and this one is ripe, sweet, juicy strawberries slic sliced over the sweetest cream. So this is strawberries and cream. Again, another flavor that I like a lot. One of my favorite flavor profiles. And again, another flavor that I am super picky with. So we shall see. Those first two though were amazing. Definitely getting strawberry and a light, light note of cream. Points for realistic strawberry flavor. And definitely points for cream. Okay, so I'm definitely getting realistic strawberry with an undertone of cream, maybe like a whipped cream. No, I wouldn't say like um like a thick, creamy, sweet, but like a light whipped cream, like a fluffy light whipped cream on top of a realistic strawberry flavor. I could definitely see myself all day vaping this one if I didn't have like my favorite strawberries and cream vape, which is um, the Milkman. I also like Baker White's strawberries and cream eh, rendition a lot. But again, this one, this one, I definitely feel like I like this one better than I like their version of the Fruit Loops. But I could definitely get behind this flavor and probably vape it all the way gone once I ran out of my other strawberries and creams. Because I've had some strawberries and creams that are just barf. <laughs> this one, I am happy to say, is good. Alright, so I'm going to make this the last flavor of the video since it's running a little bit long for a flavor video. This is Cast Off and this is the five flavor combinations and like banana and cake batter. So I'm like wondering what are the other ones. Maybe I'll be able to smell them or taste them. We shall see. Whoa. Oh, I'm definitely getting banana and a little bit of like sweetness, not really cake batter, maybe some like hazelnut. I'm definitely getting some sort of nutty flavor, like a, like a banana nut bread. Is there clove in here? I'm getting like a clove type flavor. Definitely banana. There's a sweet to it, but I'm not really getting cake batter. And like I said, I'm getting clove. And that would be like the second most prominent flavor from this vape that I'm like tasting. I don't really like clove. It's not off-putting for me, uh, this vape particularly, but I just don't like clove. It's like banana clove and that's, that's pretty strange. Yeah, I'd have to say that's like a clovey herbal type vape, maybe like a tea, I don't know. It's a weird combination. It's not bad and I bet that there's vapors out there that would like absolutely love like a banana clove, like a sweet creamy banana flavor with a clove undertone. So definitely from this line, I absolutely love the coconut pineapple blueberry one. So good. That's going to be vaped right away. And the peach rings 
a rendition is super good too. All the flavors are all right. I'm just like super picky with those two other ones, the strawberries and cream and the fruity, the Fruit Loops. So that's like my personal preference and taste is so subjective. So what I may like, you may not like and vice versa, but I will put a link below to these flavors. You should definitely try the Blue Nose if you like pineapple, coconut, and blueberries. It's so freaking good. I am, I'm gonna vape that probably <laughs> when this video is over. It's gonna go like in my knee box or something or actually probably in my cool fire for uh, I sub apex combination, but that's it for today's video Like I said, I'll put a link below where you can check these out if you want if you enjoyed this video Give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods, etc You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like So if you want to see more of me that isn't vaping related you can check out that channel All those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. For real though, that banana and clove, weird, but not bad, but just weird because I'm not expecting sweet banana and clove together. And look, my nails match my setup. <laughs>